With upwards of 20 different configuration options, the Mockingbird Single to Double is a super versatile stroller. Now, because Mockingbird is a direct-to-consumer company, they're able to provide the stroller at a much lower cost than their competitors. So, in this Mockingbird stroller review, I'm going to cover the features that makes the Mockingbird Single to Double such a great option for families looking for a forever stroller. What? Is that not a thing? No. You're an idiot. Oh, well, it is now. Hey, what are you eating? Nanya. What's Nanya? Nanya business. Booyah! Hey, this is John with Fathercraft, where I review baby and kid gear and make a lot of dad jokes and get yelled at by strangers on the internet. But we also have parenting courses where you can learn how to be a dad without mansplaining. So check us out at fathercraft.com. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a dirty little secret. Whether you're buying a relatively inexpensive stroller like the Mockingbird Single to Double or the uber expensive Silver Cross Aston Martin Surf 2 for, yes, $5,000, yeah, there's an Aston Martin stroller and it costs $5,000 and I want one immediately. But here's the secret. They're all basically the same. Then why even watch this review? Well, because feeling like you made the right buying decision gives you a smug sense of control in an otherwise uncertain world. At the end of the day, the differences boil down to, do you want a stroller with quality, durable material, or do you want one with bamboo lining and a gold plated frame? This is simply just a PSA saying, hey, we care about you we don't want you to waste your money and spay and neuter your pets. However, all that being said, I, I'm super happy to be proven wrong. So if these you know, companies want to send me their strollers, I'm more than game to check them out. And I'm looking at you, Silver Cross, you silver minx. All right, let's rein this back in and take a top-down look at the features on the stroller at hand, starting with the handlebar. Now the Mockingbird stroller handlebar is wrapped in a stylish brown leather and provides a super comfortable grip. The one-handed fold mechanism can be found in the middle of the handlebar and as its name implies allows you to fold the stroller one-handed. Despite the stroller size, the one-handed fold works pretty seamlessly. Looking a little bit further down the handlebar, you'll find side buttons that adjust the level of the handlebars, which is super convenient when you're tired of pushing the stroller, but you have a fully capable and energetic eight-year-old who can do the job just as well. The canopy has a UPF 50 plus rating and is weatherproof. And not just waterproof, but weatherproof. So rain, snow, sunshine, hurricanes, twisters, tropical storms, dust storms, locusts, you're good to go. It also comes with a spy hole or what Mockingbird calls a peekaboo window. And the underside of the canopy has high contrast designs um, that are printed on it to help promote early childhood vision development. No, seriously, see our love ever review if you don't think that this is a thing. It is. We've got a link in the description to prove it. The back of the canopy can be unzipped, allowing for more airflow through the canopy. And as a free added bonus, the Mockingbird stroller comes with a sunshade that covers the entire seat when fully extended, even covering your child's legs. The aluminum frame is quite sturdy and weighs in at about 26 pounds, which is fairly light considering its single to double nature. Underneath the stroller, you'll find a fairly cavernous basket that can hold up to 25 pounds, which is the equivalent of two bundles of decorative birch wood. And I, I know this from experience. The basket can easily be accessed from not just the back of the stroller, but the front as well by lifting up on the footrest. The wheels are constructed of a solid foam material, so you won't ever have to worry about flat tires. And you can also lock the front wheels in place to help further stabilize the already smooth ride. Now, I read a, a pretty interesting car and driver review recently um, that said something to the fact that the uh, chassis is fluid and communicative. And uh, I would have to make the same assessment about the Mockingbird. When you want to park the stroller, simply engage the one foot braking mechanism. Pretty simple. So the thing that makes the Mockingbird so versatile is the second seat kit, but it'll cost you an additional 120 bucks. Now, if you're thinking, nah, I'm gonna be good with one kid. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed, but mm, you sure about that? So if you are one of those pie in the sky, I'm only going to have one kid type. And then the great thing about buying the Mockingbird stroller is, you know, Use it as a single if you want, but in the off chance a second one comes around, you'll already have a stroller that can be converted to handle that unexpected life event. Still, even with the additional cost of the second seat, 
it's going to be much cheaper than the higher end models like the Uppa Baby Cruise, uh, which starts at around 700 bucks. Now, if you have a newborn, you can buy a car seat adapter for about 30 bucks, which is compatible with a long list of car seat brands. So to see if your car seat brand is compatible with this adapter, simply go to Mockingbird's site and you can reference their list there. And we'll have a link to that below. Now, in order to use the second seat, you'll need to attach these top and bottom adapters, which creates additional space for the second seat to fit without banging into the first seat. The adapters themselves are super simple to put on and take off. So don't worry about them becoming too bothersome to use or being a deal breaker. The seats are also fairly easy to attach in either a forward or rear facing position. Now, once they are attached, you can recline the seats by pulling up on the lever near the canopy. Now, given that there are two seats, they can be rear facing or front facing. They can be reclined in multiple positions and you can attach a car seat using the adapter. You end up with around 20 different configurations to choose from. Now, I won't go through all of the different setups, but basically just picture that old infomercial for the infinite dress where Ladies could wrap a dress 25 different ways and it was all they had to pack for a cruise. Oh man, remember cruises? Why do we do that? But anyway, if you need more than that particular visual, the Mockingbird website provides a really handy infographic detailing uh, all of the different positions and configurations. So check that out. Again, we'll have that link in the description below. Also, according to the Mockingbird website, they will soon be adding the squad configuration to their Solo and Sibs configuration lineup. This is basically a platform that attaches to the rear of the stroller for your big end to stand on, and it looks fun as hell. If you decide to buy the stroller or put it on your registry so that your mom is gonna buy you a Mockingbird, then click the link in the description and it helps us out a ton at no additional cost to you. Maybe it helps us out enough for me to buy a diamond ring, uh, you know, so I can wear it as I push my five grand Aston Martin stroller. Oh, it will happen. So if you are a soon to be parent and are maybe having twins or know that you want to have multiple kids around the same age, like a crazy person, then this stroller is definitely something you'll want to look into, especially considering it's relatively low price point. There really aren't a whole lot of things to dislike about the stroller. I mean, I love the one handed close feature, although if I was going to be nitpicky, the placement of that mechanism in the middle of the handlebar makes it a bit difficult to steer one handed. You can also try the stroller risk free for 30 days and shipping is free both ways. Another great thing are the number of accessories you can choose from. And the thought of having the power to decide the best way to like Tetris your kids into a stroller is like my dream come true. However, I've got one minor to somewhat major bone to pick with Mockingbird in that if I want to bring my oat milk honey latte with me while using the stroller, I have to hold it because a cup holder is not included. <sighs> now, shout out to Kalugo here because they do offer a cup holder for free when you buy their stroller. So the rest of you, come on, let's go. Let's pick it up. Cup holders for everyone, please. Okay, that's it. If you enjoyed this review of the Mockingbird stroller, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click those links below. Remember, all affiliate money goes directly to my Oat Milk Honey Latte Fund. And if you're looking for more stroller reviews, baby monitor reviews, <laughs> sexy dad t-shirts, uh, downloadable spreadsheets and resources, a plenty for parents, head over to fathercraft.com. I'm gonna revisit this dead ass Martin. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, ever owned or tried out one of these super high end models uh, and let us know what your favorite features were. Um, that way we can tell you how crazy you are. All right, people, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.